14, you've got to be kind of careful and say, well, what do you mean by seven? Do you mean it's including seven? Or do you mean you're going between seven and 14? Most of the time when people talk in just common language, they're saying, what's the likelihood that you will be including seven through 14? But book problems, you got to be quite careful. If they're saying between seven and 14, but not equaling seven and 14, then you got to make sure you're picking up the space between. Now, how would you do that? Well, if I plotted it out, I can just take the sum here of from seven to 14, right? Seven to 14, and then percentify that, add some decimals. If I'm using my cumulative, then I've got to take the cumulative up to the top point, which in this case is going to be 14. If I'm including the 14, then I'll go up to 14. If it's not including the 14, then I have to go up to 13. That's where you have to be careful. And then I subtract out everything that I don't want to include, which is up to seven. So, so I want to subtract everything out that I'm not including. So that means I'm going to go up to six because seven's included. So let's, it'll look like this. We'd say this equals, uh, this uh, equals Poisson. I forgot what we we're doing in a second here. Poisson.dist. X is going to be the higher one, 14, because I'm including the 14, comma. The mean is that 20.14. And then comma, it needs to be cumulative or one. That'll sum everything up. You can imagine basically up to the 14, closing it up, minus Poisson.dist. And then I want to subtract everything up to, but not including the seven, because I got to subtract, because I don't want to take out the seven bit. So I've got to go one down. So I'm going to take everything out down to six, comma, the mean is 20.14, comma, and it's going to be cumulative again, or one, close it up and enter. And so there we have it. So I'm going to say, uh, boom. So notice when you're working like book problems, more likely you're going to have these kind of calculations. In practice, it's quite nice, of course, to actually plot out, you know, the whole thing here. Uh, and then and then and then that gives you a more pictorial view of of what exactly is going on, which in practice, I think that would be, you know, the way to go. If you're trying to explain to somebody what is actually happening here, you, it's probably easier to do if you plot the whole thing out and say, okay, this is what we're doing instead of just entering the Poisson distribution like this and just saying, well, here's the prediction based on Poisson, right? It's, you, you, because that's not going to be too uh, intuitively understandable to a lot of people that don't know what you're talking about. Any case, let's make this whole thing uh, bracketed. Let's put some brackets around this thing and format it. Let's do some formatting here. Uh, oh, by the way, so we have this data. The other, th we, the other thing we might do is see how close this data lines up to, to what we got. So let's make one more right click. I'm going to insert one. Oh, not delete. Right click, insert. And let's just make, this is the difference. So let's just see, this is going to be equal to what we got minus when we, when we counted the potholes minus, hold on. Did I pick up the right one? I'm getting a little tired, a little distracted here. Focus what we got minus this. And then I'm going to copy that down. And so there's our, our differences. That's another way you can kind of look at it and say, okay, how close is the Poisson versus the data that we calculated uh, on, on our testing? All right, let's go ahead and format some of this. So we're going to say, there's that. Let's, I'm going to select this whole thing, control shift down, make it blue and bordered home tab, border it, drop down on the bucket. I'm going to make it blue. If you don't have that blue, it's in the more colors, standard blue. You don't have to make it blue, but that's what I do. And then control shift down and then border blue. The blue is just a happier color than the green for me. Green reminds me of the days of the spreadsheets where I had terrible handwriting and and I couldn't even read my own writing, but I tried so hard with my 10 key before the time in the in the dark ages 
before the before the uh, Excel times. There was Excel, but people still insisted on on forcing me to do like a ten key and a spreadsheet, and it was it was cruel. I think it, that was the point. Honestly, it was supposed to be cruel and unusual punishment and uh it, it achieved its objective okay so let's do a spell check on it maybe a spell check that'd, that'd be, be nice, nice. Can review, review spell checky uh, potholes potholes all right there we have it